In this screencast, I will demonstrate Nexus Repository Manager's multi-tenancy um, abilities, if you will. Uh, I have here a copy of Nexus Repository Manager uh, Pro. Uh, this is a brand new instance. Uh, let me sign in with as an administrator. And here we have the default repositories. I'm going to configure this so that uh, one team can only look at the Maven repositories and another, team can, and another team can only look at the NuGet repositories. Go into the server administration uh, section, go down to roles. The first thing we're going to do is create uh, appropriate roles for our needs here. So let's go with Maven only. And I'm just going to use this filter to look for anything Maven. Uh, this will pull up two different types of uh, privileges. We got the NX repository admin, which gives the role privileges to administrate the repository. That means remove the repository, change its type, ch actually change the repository itself, not the artifacts. Um, the next type of uh, permission is the NX repository view. These are the permissions that allow the, the role to be able to modify the repository's contents, the, art, the artifacts. Uh, I'm going to create a role just for those. So this is Maven 2. I'll create a role now for NuGet only. Okay, we have you get okay. Now, once I have roles created, I'm going to go to the user section and I'll start creating users. So, Hub loves Java. He gets the role Maven only. So that is his role that will define his privileges. He can then later on change the role, and that uh, those privileges will be uh, inherited by this user. I'll create a second role. Mary. Mary loves C sharp. She will get the new get only role. <laughs> My bad. So now I'm going to sign out and sign back in as Bob. And here we have only the Maven repositories. So sign out again. Sign in, Mary. Close the assets, and now we have the new get repositories. That is how one configures Nexus repository. Thank you for watching.